when we talk about uh, sports nutrition, that's an area that you're familiar with. How is that different from what the average person needs? Uh, sports nutrition, you're actually tr you're, you're you're trying to train an athlete, somebody who needs better cardiovascular health uh, mm -hmm. for running an extra you know two seconds less in the Olympics or mm -hmm. something like that, or hitting the ball longer. Uh, when it comes to the everyday you know weekend warrior who's just looking to get back in there, look good in a bikini, look good in a you know pair of shorts, mm -hmm. uh, it's it's a totally different as, um, angle you, you have to take with it. Uh, it's not as hardcore, it's not as um, as in depth because. People who get into a program such as you know an athletic one tend to burn out very quickly because it is very time consuming. Very, um, uh, it's it's a big investment, <laughs> if you mm -hmm. will. Again, um, whereas people who just want a quick fix and kind of lose the weight to look good, that's a totally different ballpark. It's much easier to to attain that than to get somebody to run uh, you know a, a mile in, in under seven minutes. Mm -hmm. So. Um, you know, it's two different angles. I see what they want to do. I do treat athletes, and I do treat you know the the, the average Joe. Mm -hmm. uh, and you know, once you kind of pick through their you know in, in the actual initial consult and figure out what their what their true uh, you know their, <laughs> their true initial uh, ability to jump into the program, I can kind of tailor it to um to each angle. Mm -hmm. When you talk about sports nutrition, it seems like protein comes to the forefront. What are your thoughts on that? How much do do you need, and and what are good kinds? Oh, protein is the root of everything, honestly, when it comes to overall nutrients. You have fats, you have carbohydrates, and you have mm -hmm. protein. Um, a lot of people don't understand the thermic effect of food. Um, thermic effect, you have three different types of metabolism. Your basic metabolic rate, your thermic effect of uh, exercise, and your thermic effect of food. The first two are easy. The first one is basic, meta, uh, basic metabolic rate is how many calories you burn just being alive. Breathing, mm -hmm. heartbeat, digestion, not, not digestion, breathing, heartbeat, just thinking. Second one is the thermic effect of exercise. And we all see in the treadmill when you're running, it says you burn 1,000 calories or whatever it may be. That's your thermic effect of exercise. Uh, but what people don't understand that there actually is a thermic effect of food. When you take anything and actually consume it, your body has to process it, absorb it, um, digest it, all everything um, that goes into putting that nutrient into your body. Um, that, that raises your, your, um, your actual metabolic rate. Um, so once people understand that, you actually have to eat five meals a day. Everybody thinks, you know, I've heard of that before, but why? Mm -hmm. We're actually keeping our, you know, we're actually training our actual thermic effect of food, our metabolic rate to be high for that. Um, and that's why, you know, my first uh, consult with a patient, and I was like, how many meals do you eat a day? They say one or two. And I'm like, okay, we're going to eat five. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Much smaller ones and much more tailored. Mm -hmm. um, but protein is the most thermic effect, uh, the most thermic food. Um, available. It helps to burn fat, build muscle, energy. It's the catalyst for all types of reactions throughout the body, and it's definitely one of the, um, the foundations of uh, uh, core nutrition. Mm -hmm. What kinds should people get? Animal protein? Uh, you hear a lot about soy, but mm -hmm. is that bad for you? The, the protein shakes? Mm -hmm. and what, what are, uh, well, what I mean, I always for? say, you know, from where I'm from, you know, we, we have canines for a reason, <laughs> so I think animal mm -hmm. protein is very, very important. Um, there are a lot of supplements out there, such as the soy, the um, pea proteins and all that, mm -hmm. which are great. Um, animal protein does have, um, they're more complete proteins, so they have more of uh, the essential amino acids. Amino acids are what build protein, um, whereas the vegetable substitutes can be incomplete, um, but at the same time, they might help out if you eat that with an actual animal-based protein. Um, so I always say animal-based first, <laughs> make sure mm -hmm. you get those in there, and then the augmentations with soy or pea or um, any other type of proteins you can find out there is definitely a good augmentation, but shouldn't be your foundation. Mm -hmm. How about carbs? A lot of people who are athletes, who want to be athletes, mm -hmm. think they have to load up on carbs before an event, things like that. Do you mm -hmm. subscribe to that? Uh, I do. It, it depends on the type of carbohydrate and the type of activity and the type of outcome you want. Uh, number one, when it, when it comes to the type of carb, you have your high glycemic and your low glycemic, so your simple versus complex carbohydrates. Mm -hmm. uh, basically put, simple carbohydrates are like a pixie stick, straight sugar, they give you that initial <laughs> burst because <laughs> they're very easily digested in the system. Your insulin goes straight up and mm -hmm. you have energy, but then you crash. Uh, your more complex or low glycemic, such as your oatmeals or uh, anything lower on the uh, on the chain when it comes to the energy, the initial burst, um, it's much more mellow on the actual insulin spike, uh, which is greater for cardiovascular health, uh, cholesterol, all of those things we hear about, mm -hmm. um, and it gives you more sustained energy. So people who are getting ready to run a marathon would want energy that is going to last sure. for a, for a much long, uh, much more long much more long time frame mm -hmm. as opposed to you know having a pixie stick and have that initial 20, 20 minute burst of energy. Um, when it comes to uh, athletics and all that, you know people who burn a lot of calories, whether it's hockey, football, basketball, whatever it may be, you're gonna wanna have carbohydrates before. Um, and people who are exercising to build muscle are gonna wanna have simple carbohydrates after because mm -hmm. it spikes that um, insulin and pulls all the nutrients into the actual muscle to regrow. So it's a very, tailored question you've asked, sure. and it's very relative, mm -hmm. uh, but I do think carbohydrates are extremely important in certain situations and very detrimental in others.